Hi, Cyrus Spruce here, back with another True Infinity Gamma video, episode 4, and it's been a bit since last episode, you can see I have E1400 Ants Banner. How is that possible? It's because of unfunity. This, I, I swear, this scales exponentially, which means that um, yeah, if it scales exponentially, that can give me a lot of of boost the production. It's boosting every dimension, and I'm not sure if it's boosting infinity dimensions, but it might be. So, yeah, that's why it's so good, and I can also increase the potency of it, because you can see I've gotten some of these upgrades off camera, and this is 1920 unfunity per hour when I'm online, like active. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get this, and then I can get this, the second one actually was not as powerful as the first one, but at least I can get 10 infinity points in one run. I'm not really sure what that's going to do, because the thing is that this is 50,000, and this is 10,000, and the nearest infinity upgrade is 132, but at least it's something. At least with the um, unfunity points I'm getting, at least I... I have a better boost to production, and I think all I really need to do is just... The thing is that this game is... It's too balanced around Unfunity. That's the problem. I mean, Unfunity was... I remember in an earlier build of True Infinity Gamma, Unfunity was just a thing that would help you if you were, like, extremely inactive. It would just give you a bunch of minor boosts, and it felt more like a supplemental part of the game, because... Uh, yeah, that that is a much better way for Unfunity to work. However, here it's more of an essential part of the game where you just need to grind Unfunity and you need to be active. The previous build did not have this thing where Unfunity is only good if you're active. So, this this is why like Unfunity was more just like an offline progression boost because I think that the game didn't have any regular offline progression, so it did Unfunity to make up for that, but Unfunity completely changed to something that's actually unfun. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, so it's been a long time, like several days, and well there's a number of things that have changed. First, I am not on my sneak peek version anymore, I'm on the public Gamma 1.3.1. Also I have upscaled the web page so that you can see the video more clearly, so yeah, there's that. And not only that, I've grinded a lot of unfunity points, as you can see, and I think oh, that's, that really that really brought it down. Okay, I, th I thought that was actually going to bring it up. I, I had like almost quadrupled that, but whatever. I can infinity for 3 million infinity points, which is going to be huge, because this is going to allow me to, well first, I can get power set will help a little bit. You can also get automation, and so there's like upgrade automation, antimatter dimension automation, and infinity dimension automation. So I probably want to just unlock all of these and turn them all on. So now I can automate runs, which is really nice. So now I can just, now all I need to do is just, yeah, just wait like 10 seconds and then I can get it. So that's that's it's really nice, but unfortunately, it's not going to solve the problem of unfunity points. These upgrades are still blurred out for some reason, and there's only one upgrade here that I can get. Everything else, I there's nothing I can do. I mean, I guess I can get infinity points, get more infinity dimensions, but other than that, that that's not even gonna, that's not going to increase my unfunity points. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to keep grinding more and more and more unfunity points. And, like, all the way until I probably... I've heard there's an eternity in this game. So, apparently I'm supposed to be able to get E308 infinity points. Yeah, that's going to be a huge grind of unfunity points. I mean, it may be a little quicker than I think, but it's really not fun. Okay, I'm back another while later. I've done a lot of unfunity grinding. I have 60,000 unfunity points. I can actually get all three of these upgrades. 
Um, and yeah, there's well, there is this upgrade, I can guess. So hopefully, you can see I'm getting about E44 infinity points with each upgrade with each one of these. Now, once I get this replacement upgrade, hopefully, let's see how much it's gonna do. Whoa, okay, E61, that's actually a decent amount, even though it's not really gonna actually mean all that much. I mean, it will mean something. It's going to make this way faster, actually. I, I prematurely clicked there because I didn't even think it was going to be able to go that high. So, yeah, you can see um, this is kind of an inflation era in Infinity Points, but unfortunately, there's no new mechanics I'm going to unlock. And, I mean, I could, you know, do the Unfinity Points, and you can see I'm going to get stuck at about E90 Infinity Points. And, yeah, now I need to grind all the way to E308, because I already have these, I can't really do anything else, like, I could try to get, I don't know, I feel like this is a good prioritization strategy, but, yeah, I'm gonna need to just grind a lot more unfunity points. I know, I'm probably gonna, I'm, my plan is to get probably this one, then this one, then this one, because this will double it, this will only... Increase this eight times to a ten times. So that's multiplying it by, I think, yeah, a factor of five fourths, and then I can get this. And I feel like once I get that, I'll be able to get enough infinity points to reach E three away after a ton more unfunity grinding. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See you in another bit. Okay, I'm back after grinding a lot more unfunity, and yeah, one hundred sixty-two thousand unfunity points. I can get E220 infinity points, which possibly could be enough to reach E308, maybe, hopefully. It looks like it, there's a lot of resetting because I, I'm getting so many of the, these upgrades. I went from 30 to 73. So, let's see, 250, 260, 70, 300, yep, boom. Actually, I'm going to go way beyond E308 there. I think I'm going to be able to get 100 upgrades of Dimensional Jump, which is... Interesting. I'm also going to export so I can, um, yeah. Well, first there's a, this, Eternity. That'll be next episode. But before I do that, I'm going to, um, where, are, where are the options? Export, and then um, get get this upgrade to see if it does anything. 35, 34, 3905. Okay, I made the right decision there. So this means I can get even farther. I may want more than two Eternity Points because, well, this game is extremely slow and I've heard that Unfunity resets on Eternity. And I really, really want Eternity to actually not take an Eternity to reach Eternity. I know, that's kind of weird, but that's, that's how I'm going to say it. Also, you can see I'm actually getting a lot more dimensions than I probably should be getting here. It's... Like, I, I think I should only get 20 dimensions if you do it by infinite layer standards, but instead I can reach 122 dimensions, which is weird. And also, it looks like I'm not really going to be able to gain any more infinity points, because my E603, this is 604, 605. So I guess I'm just going to Eternity. This might have been a short episode, but maybe... Okay, I'll, I'll make next episode longer. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.